Moving along on the Huzzle 372, uh, now I've got the squish band sanded. Again, I didn't take out much, but took out enough. Now, the squish was 38,000, 36,000, shoot, now I forget. 25 and 18 is 43. 36,000, so 7,000. I was able to sand 7,000 out of the band. So if you're trying to take 40,000 out of the band, the, the sandpaper trick is probably not um, not the best. But I got 7,000. So that's something. And it got rid of that stupid lip in there. Visually, it looks a lot better without that lip. So um, I'm... I'm going to veer away from the whole poor man's porting here uh, thing for a bit and because I want to get this thing so it's it's powerful enough I, I, I need some more compression so I want to optimize squish and I've already base gassed it, deleted it and it's still now it's 43 thousandths and so I need to improve that some so I have two options I can cut the base on the cylinder itself or I can cut the case. Now I usually cut the case and I think that's what I'm going to do and I also think that because I do want to run a gasket um, I might cut like 40 thousandths off. So that will allow me to run a 20 thousandths gasket and knowing how big the squish is on the other like the big bores then it'll be easy for me to swap them out and still maintain a fairly optimal squish and run the base gasket. Again, I did a base gasket delete, so now the squish is as tight as it's going to be without either machining the case or machining the base. So my preference is to machine the case. You need a Bridgeport mill for that. Um, so I'm going to try that and see how that goes. Yeah, so that does veer away from poor man's porting, um, but it's really the only way at this point to get compression out of this and see if I can get some level of performance out of this uh, machine. Now, I will say that on another saw I just put together, which I didn't take video of, um, I used a complete mishmash of parts, including a aftermarket big bore cylinder. I don't even know if it was a farmer tech or a highway. I have no idea. There were no markings on it at all. So uh, I will say that it was actually quite potent by the time I got done with it. And I didn't do all the port work that I did in here. Um, I just did a little bit of intake and exhaust. There was no transfer work, nothing. So it was very stout. Um, 165, 170 pounds of compression. So you can absolutely get the aftermarket cylinders to where they are, um, where they do give you a pretty good pop. This one, not yet. So I'll machine the, the case here and uh, see how that goes. And I've got other videos on how I do that, so you don't need to see that. But I will share the results with you, uh, assuming I do get this running better. Uh, another thing that was mentioned to me was that really these, the piston and rings might just be crap. For whatever reason, it, it's just not generating compression like it should. So, you know what? Maybe I, I need to change out the piston and rings for an OEM piston and rings or a Meteor or something like that. So those are the ideas. For the miracle of time travel, it's been bridge ported. Decked. So I took about 40 thousandths off of here and now it's nice and clean obviously so what I can do now is I can run a base gasket with this as opposed to before I wasn't but I can run a base gasket with this and hopefully end up with a 20,000 squish let's see if I got it so I've got the whole thing on here and I, two issues strike me immediately one um, the squish is I think I took a little bit too much off but it's okay uh, squish is a little bit tight 17 thousandths um, so all I need to do is sand the squish band just a little bit more and it will be good. Uh, but the other thing that happens when you drop the cylinder head is that 
the flywheel here rubs on the cylinder. So you have to make sure that that's polished. Now, on the Husky 350s, um, it can run into the chassis over here too. So there is that concern. Um, I don't have the concern right now, but uh, at least not on this model. But here, uh, this does need to be adjusted. So I need to pull the cylinder head back off and uh, just sand the squish band just a little bit more and then we'll have it uh, and, and of course adjust this probably I'll just take a file to that where I see it rubbing just take a file down to it and make sure that it's relieved appropriately so hopefully this is the final time that this is shined up with the sandpaper so the sandpaper is just some uh, 40, 50, 50 grit whatever that is, 60 grit, something like that um, on uh, with some JB Weld, quick weld. Seems to work pretty good. Take some brake cleaner, clean off the, because it loads, take some brake cleaner, clean it off, fill the thing with WD-40 and run it around. Gains you a little bit of clearance. Let's put it on and uh, see how it goes.